Stick around while we pack out our toolbox. What's that mean? You'll find out in just a moment. I'm Tim Johnson. You're watching Shop 2 Reviews. <music> Milwaukee Tool released their new packout system several years ago. Now, it started out as kind of some organizational boxes, kind of as you see here, uh, and some roll around mobile bases, and it's continued to grow since then. Now, right out of the gate, it was a great system for that mobile person, say that electrician, that person in construction, uh, the different trades that go from job to job. For that mobile use, it was excellent because it allowed a way to organizationally or uh, more methodically put away your tools and your accessories as well as parts, things like that, put them in little bins and keep them organized. For the shop person, for the person working out of the shop, it was a great and cool thing, but it really didn't have a lot of function for shop use other than just a place to store away things and maybe put it under a cabinet or something. And trust me, we've loved them from the get-go, but again, as far as seeing functional use from them, we didn't see a lot from what we could use for so much of the packout system until they released this mounting plate. Now, this is going to change. I'm not going to say the game. But anyway, so you will see these now in mobile vehicles and, uh, you know, mounting them on the walls of vehicles so that they can mount these di different organizational bins. We're going to use them in a little bit different manner. Now, there's others that have used them on walls and things like that to to organize their different bins, which again, great idea. We've got a better idea, or at least a different idea. We got this Milwaukee toolbox over here. From your view, it probably looks decent, like maybe even looks clean, uh, maybe looks nice and tidy, but trust me, it's not. You even see the Milwaukee radio sitting there on top. Well, it's kind of a disaster to tell you the truth. It's filthy and it just doesn't get the amount of uh, love that it should, but we're gonna change that. So we're gonna use some Milwaukee Packout mounting plates and we're going to uh, spruce up our toolbox a bit and we'll see what you think when we're done. Okay, so here's a true look at the toolbox. And again, may look decent right here, but we'll show you up close in a second. We love our radio. We love our M18 Packout radio. It just, uh, it works really well, sounds really well, syncs really easy to, to phones, Bluetooth, computers, things like that. So that's kind of where we like it to stay. However, it's not very functional right there. Uh, and then down here on the side of our toolbox, it's just kind of a catch-all of underhood lights, backpack, an old charger that never gets used right there. Not getting a lot of function out of the side of our toolbox there. Now, as far as the internals of the toolbox, we do pretty well and we work out of it quite, quite a lot. However, when it comes to the underhood, pretty common scenario with a toolbox. So, got our packout radio on there, so we've got to do this little gentle, you know, kind of lift up and grab what we need to under here. Now, what we have in here, uh, some batteries that are charging for our lighting or our, for our camera equipment. We got soldering iron in there, uh, Dremel, little Ryobi Dremel station, a bunch of lights in there that we like to charge. Um, yeah, some. Kleenexes that we never get to. Anyway, just kind of a, uh, a sundry of different things. But we're just, uh, as I mentioned, there we go. So there went our Milwaukee Packout radio. We almost lost it. So we've got to change that. So first thing, let's clean the filth that's on top of that and let's get to it. Okay, that looks better. All right, so we're gonna use a couple of these Milwaukee Packout mounting plates. And by the way, they're gonna work in a single direction. So you wanna make sure that you have them oriented where you can slide them in and out, lock them in and out, so forth. Uh, so we're gonna mount one probably there and one here. Now in this case, Milwaukee only making a 46 inch toolbox. So we overhang a little bit. Maybe you can do something about that. Until then, we're gonna make use of it. We'll be fine. Uh, so we're going to mount it to our lid here. We're going to use some riv nuts, uh, rivet nuts. So basically you drill a hole, you put these in it, and we'll use a little rivet gun tool, and it'll compress in there and basically make a little nut uh, called a nut cert or a nut insert. But anyway, they're called rivet nuts or riv nuts or, or nut certs. 
um, several names that they call these. That's what we're gonna use to mount these using some quarter inch, uh, quarter inch by 20 screws. I think that's what that calls for in the, uh, in the pack out mounting plate instructions. There's a bunch of different mounting holes here depending on whether you're mounting them vertical or sideways or horizontal or, or whatever you wanna call it. Anyway, so uh, we're just gonna pick a few of them, probably put at least four in each one of these um, and get those mounted to the top here. Okay, first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna find center here on the front of the toolbox here, just to give us an idea of where the center point is. Uh, it's 46 inches, so at 23 is center. I'll go ahead and mark it in the back here as well. I could score a line if I want to, but I don't need to. One thing cool about the pack out is going side by side, they are made to butt up against each other. You see the little, uh, little notches there that uh, join to one another so you can butt these up. So that's one thing that's pretty cool. So I'm gonna get this centered and I'm gonna get this kind of flush to the front. I'm gonna overhang just a little on the back, but again, I really don't care that much about that. There we go. Now I'll butt the other one up against that. And yeah, I've got about the same amount of overhang on each one. So you may care a little more than I do on this. I'm gonna kind of eyeball this and I'm gonna be happy with it. Now, I'm gonna take a quarter inch drill bit to mark my holes and I'm just gonna mark a couple of them. Okay, I think I've got those marked. Let's get those out of the way. And now, so I've got a few holes marked here. And by the way, you don't wanna make nut certs or put nut certs here and on the edge because you'd basically lock your lid down. You get that, right? Okay, anyway, so moving on. Let's get you a little higher so you can see this a little better. Okay, so we've got a few holes marked here. And let's get a measurement on our nut search, see how big they are. That's how big of a hole we need to drill. Okay, so we got our handy dandy calipers here. And we'll just quickly, so 0 0.355, uh, let's see here, 45, 128, or right at nine millimeters. So 0.35 is what we need for a drill bit. So let's find the right one. So I'm gonna first use a little eighth inch pilot bit just to hit all these holes and then I'll open it up. I'm gonna use a 23 64th. You could probably use a 3 8 and get by with this, but I'd rather have it fit a lot tighter. So I'm using a 23 64th bit or a U bit, I think is another one uh, that would use. But anyway, so first my eighth inch drill bit. Oops, you know what? Let's cover up all our stuff inside so we don't get metal shavings all over everything. You would think I would think ahead like this all the time, but that's rare. Really what this is, is I'm too lazy to unload everything. So just do this instead. Now we're golden. Okay, back to drilling. Oops, we got a double layer there. Man, we sure do. Maybe we don't have to worry about that. So I'm gonna stop at the single layer, just drill through the first layer. Now we can clean up our shavings. Not sure why I'm doing that now when I still have to drill the bigger hole. Nonetheless, Get that cleaned up. So let's drill a test hole here and see how it works. Oh yeah, that's gonna be perfect. Okay. A little loose. 
lube never hurt. grabbed yeah I think I grabbed my uh, shore did well that was a waste wasn't it finish this all right so we've got our nut certs in here And we forgot two holes back here. If you haven't used one of these a lot like a rivet gun, you just got to set some depth adjustments on how much pull you want. It's not requiring a lot of pull on this. So you just put the insert in there or you can put the insert on the tool, screw it down until it bottoms out and then Ah, and did not want to do that. So you see what's happening here. You'll see as I pull this, it just basically squishes like a rivet there in that, uh, in that belly area of the rivet. And then once it's done, you just unscrew it. And that's basically sandwiching between that sheet metal. Make sure that's down. So just like a rivet, you want to see, make sure that it's bottomed all the way out before you pull on it. Now let's hope all my riv nuts uh, line up with the, with the holes in the mounting plate that I drilled. One more. Okay, so when we look at the underside here, you can see our rev nuts under here. Gives it a really nice clean look even under here. Makes it look factory. Yeah, with the rev nuts, you really can't tell it's something that Milwaukee wouldn't have put on here themselves. By the way, now we can uh, get rid of all our drilling shrapnel. So now we can test our mounting plates to see if they still line up. So we've got some one inch quarter inch by 20 screws or quarter inch by 20 by one inch long screws. And let's line up our first one. See how we did. Golden there. <laughs> Wrong hole. There we go. I was worried there for a second. There. Let's see if we got this one.
Got that one. Had to find it. Hey, look at there. That one too. Looks like we didn't fade far. And then let's see if we got this one. Oh yeah. Okay, so we're locked in really well. That's not going anywhere. We've got our, uh, our nut certs in, we put our screws in, we've got our mounting plates on. And look at here, so we can raise that up, no problem at all. Now let's on to loading this thing. Okay, so first thing is our nut cert container. So we've got a little pack out with all our nut certs in it, something we use quite often. So I'm gonna load that in, lock it into place. And then our pack out socket set. A lot of times rather than grabbing a socket and a ratchet, we need to grab kind of a whole kit, take it on the boat with us, whatever. Now we can out load it up here, slow it, lock it into place, it's locked in, and then, what's the most important thing here? Of course it is, it's the shop tunes. So now we've got our pack out radio, and now that's locked into place. We no longer have to hold it in place when we raise it up to get in our under our lid. That is absolutely awesome. Not gonna shake around anywhere. It's not going to disconnect itself until we actually unlock it, slide it out of place, take it with us, and when we're done with it, throw it back on, lock it in, and we're good to go. Same way with our tunes. We need to head out to the lake, head out to the beach, take our tunes with us, get back, lock it in, and now it's locked onto our lid. We can get under here, we can do our charging, we can get to our stuff, get to our lights, and we're good to go. So there's our pack out addition to our Milwaukee toolbox. Milwaukee, maybe you ought to think about that. And just in case you're wondering how it looked like on the side, you can see barely any overhang there at all. And on the front side there, barely any sticking over that lip. Now the back side's got a little bit of a lip, but that's not a big deal. You're never looking at that. So we really like this new addition here. Two comments for Milwaukee. One, how about a 72 inch long toolbox? That'd be pretty cool, just saying. Anyway, and the other one is, how about lining up some nut certs on the side of your box that line up with your mounting plates? Might be a good idea. Anyway, what do you think about our pack out system? We thought it worked geniusly. In fact, we've got another idea for the last one we have here, probably go on maybe the side of the toolbox. Uh, but we thought the lid idea was great. It's worked out really well for us. Uh, it holds the radio great, holds any other pack out systems that we have that we want to slide up there and lock into place as well. Lifting it up, it still stays out of the way of everything. And underneath it looks factory. You see the nut cert sticking out the bottom. Even with the one inch screws, it lines up really flush with the bottom of the nut cert or the riv nut, whatever you want to talk about it. And this was a pretty simple project. A lot of times we go into a project like this and hours and days and weeks later when we still haven't completed it, we scrap the whole thing and say, forget about it. In this case, you saw pretty much real time. We'll do some editing here, but it did not take long whatsoever. It took more time rolling around the camera and lights than it did actually doing the job. Used a really simple Riv nut installer or rivet nut gun or nut cert gun, whatever you want to call this. I've always called them nut certs. Most people call them, I think, riv nuts or rivet nuts. But these things are really handy. I'll actually leave a, uh, a link in the description if you actually want to find these on Amazon is where I got them pretty cheap. And you can get the nut certs with them. And then we got some extra. We got a bag of 100 quarter inch by 20 because or quarter inch. Uh, 20 thread uh, by, well, by whatever you want. But anyway, uh, that whole bag of like 100, I think, was only like another 10 or 11 bucks. So we know we'll use that quarter inch thread a lot. Um, in fact, 
our little pack out container of the nut search because we will use this tool a lot on many other things. So check it out for yourself if you want to do it. Hey, you got a Milwaukee toolbox or any other toolbox and you got some pack out stuff, get the mounting plates, use the nut search, put them on there. I'm telling you, you will love it. Let us know what you do with your toolbox and pack out system as well, or maybe even pack out in shop in general. If you don't mind, would you hit that like and subscribe button, but only if you like this video and keep track of us on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. And by all means, if you hated our video, give us a thumbs down, but would you let us know in the comments why? Have a great day and keep smiling. Which by the way, after Milwaukee released these pack out uh, mounting plates, I called Milwaukee, I said, hey, by any chance does the side of your toolboxes and service carts and things like that, do they have some of the nut inserts that actually line up with these mounting plate holes? Long pause. Um, let us get back to you on that. And I knew right away, I thought, you know what? They realized they missed an opportunity. So Milwaukee, your new toolboxes, you might want to think of lining up some nut search to line up with your mounting plate. Yeah, you might have to move your bottle opener. I get it. That's a tough thing. But anyway, just a thought.